Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, let's see what the Indie World has for me and you. This is Straight Path. Good looking title screen, huh? Really good look, really good sounding music too. I was taken aback by that, I didn't expect that. This is a legit indie game, I think it's a one man project. This is a card game. Yeah, second one I'm playing this week that I like. I've played many, many this week that I did not, and mm, bad, but this is good. It's got like a thing about it. And you'll see. You'll see when I get to it. Turn-based tactics, indie card game. We'll do a new game, because I already cleared it. I cleared this demo in about 2.4 hours messing around. And the time in which I cleared it was when I discovered a key thing about the game. So what's new in this, this updated version of the demo is this bit here. This is the made up progression. Previously, you couldn't really access this. You could just kind of see there are a bunch of, like, three other characters planned for the full game launch. Now there's a bunch of stuff. I haven't looked a bit of it. It's impactful. But it's, yeah, it's pretty impactful. But it only stacks to one currently, so increased attack, defense, M HP, luck, so crit, artifacts, stuff like that. So I'm going to take the alloy stick, eh, and I'm going to take, normally you'd start with like one relic, and I'll take the mushroom ball, it's pretty fun. It creates a random mushroom card when I enter a new stage. So this is a card game, but it's not, oh, I can just look at that too. I'm sure in the main game they'll have like other characters you can be there. Right now I'm the odd-eyed kitty. We'll start. Now this. Unlike other card games where you like all the abilities are represented as cards, here in this, everything is cards. It's all cards, right? So our enemies are cards, our items we want are cards, our our destinations are cards, our items are cards, once we pick them up and then we, they go there as artifacts, right? It's just everything's a card. And it's really cool because cards are 2D. So look at this. You want your, your Alter Blessing, so this is an RPG, right? I don't just call it an RPG, I'm calling it an RPG because it is one. Like, I don't get anything directly for killing monsters. I get it for getting blessings, or getting rune stones to improve my relics. Or to having items here that strengthen me in other ways. So I want to choose an... Uh, I want to go, go to the Altar and pick... I want Defense. So this gives me Defense 2, right? Now look at this. This critter does 2 attack, right? I have 2 shield. I take nothing from hitting him. He can't hurt me. And when I kill him, I reveal what he had beneath him. I take his loot. He had 20 bucks. Now, these are like card monsters, right? You're like, okay, you've cleared this line, go to this line. No, no, look what I can do. <gasps> I picked him up and moved him. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Because these are 2D beings. They're cards, right? Whereas I am a three-dimensional kitty, right? I can pick up and move these critters. I can only do it, though, if I have a place to put them. Right? So that, that's so interesting. It... It breaks it down to a very tactical game, like, how do I choose to engage these enemies? So I, I don't want to take damage. We don't want to take damage. I don't have that many hit points. But because of my defense, I can just cut this thing down like nothing. And then I can go, I can take this potion and put it in my hand. This is my hand size of two, two. So it's not so much a deck builder. There's a little bit of that, but it's more of a, a card game, a tactical, turn-based tactical card game. Yeah, it's less of a deck builder. Oh, I, I spend all my time hyper-focusing on my deck of two cards. No, no, I'm focusing on my build. My my status my stat distribution, right? What am I building for? The artifacts I have. Almost like almost like binding of Isaac a little bit in terms of the kind of relics and items you're going to use in that run. This is the within run currency, the coins. It's use it or lose it. If you die, it's gone, so use your coins when you get to a shop. I also have this, right? So you we, we what you want to do, I gotta slow it down here because I get a little excited playing the game, which is very odd for me in a card game. It's just so so tactical. Look, look, there's a card beneath it, right? I can reveal it. Now, I can't just put that back now. That's revealed. I have one, two, three, four, five. So these are the columns, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five columns, one row, right? The rows go across, the columns go... They, they are these horizontal... Horizontal, these are the vertical lines, right? So you always want to look at the depth of the card, because there's treasures hiding in there, right? I don't want to just buzz through here. I can't just leave, right? I don't have to fight these guys. I'm not getting anything directly for killing them. It's an important distinction here. In the RPG, like... It, it determines so much of how you play. Do you get XP from killing the monster, or do you get XP for completing the challenge, right? That's old school D&D, &D and like, like, second edition and first edition AD&D, &D, most of your XP did not come from killing monsters. This is a market change from, uh, say, 3.5 on, on and onward, particularly in the case of fifth edition, most of your XP would come from encounters in, in fifth edition and Pathfinder and 3.5 whereas in the old editions it was about completing the quest or finding treasure right you get some XP from monsters the first time you killed them but after that I was like it was almost nothing 
So you, you didn't want to waste your time fighting like little bands of kobolds or orcs or something. They, they carried crap. They're worth crap. They avoid them. Anyway, my point is, I gain nothing directly from killing this monster, particularly this guy here. Although, I could... No, and I take damage. No, I want to kill this guy. Because he's got stuff. I, maybe. He, has, he does. Now I pick an item. I can pick one of three orc and reroll. I'm kind of not that flush right now, so I want to reroll a little later. The Assassin's Cloak, so one of three. This is a nice early game boost. Plus three to attack, but it, it vanishes. It's wood, right? It's going to degrade. Plus three, but it's gone after three turns. Uh, three. Three rooms, right? Evasion, two percent. So two percent of anything doesn't excite me. I just, no. When you use an item card, increases next attack by two. Uh, I guess I'll take the two percent. I can always just sell things, too, for three whole gold. I can leave, go for the altar. The altar are the ones that boost your attack, defense, luck, or... Was it crit? But no, this could be some other stuff here. See? One card behind him. So what is it? Another dude. I don't care about him. I want this dagger. Uh, I'll sell for three gold. Take the dagger. And then I want the the rune stones. I'll, I'll head to this room here. So it's, I'm progressing through the forest dungeon. Ah. I'm getting this mushroom all the time because of this card here. It's really powerful. It creates a random mushroom card every time I enter a new stage. This is very helpful. It's a bit of free healing. Kills me for a five. Get out of here. I don't want to go to the shop yet. I want, I want the stuff that's here. This guy. Now here's where the combat gets interesting. These guys, these are the confidence builders. Teaching you not to take damage. When they start getting interesting is they have little modifiers. When this guy's around, he's like, -la 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 -la. <laughs> Every enemy does plus one damage. So, while this guy's around, take more damage. So I gotta get rid of him. And I can throw this dart, throwing knife at him, and it heals me. Uh, I'll take his rune stones. He had treasure. So now their stats bumped down again. So I can go, I could kill you, Mr. Candlestick Monster, or I use my third dimensional powers and pick you up and drop you over there. <laughs> he's all confused, right? He's two dimensions, right? Look, like... Draw, draw a line on a card, then try to get down from the perspective of that card. You'll see that the two-dimensional beings only see lines. He'd only see the edge of my card. They're, they're all confused when I pick up and move them, right? <laughs> it's like mystical magic to them. I'll take the potion because I wonder what's under. Moonstone's great. What's under this mushroom? Another throwing knife. Okay, thank you. Cut you down for nothing. Money! See, 20 bucks I would not have had otherwise. And I can take three more coins. Altar or shop? Well, let's do another altar. See? Progressing through the forest. Boom. We'll save the bomb for later. I could take it. Deals four damage. Oh, and here we go. This guy. So he's almost like a Keiko demon from Doom, but he's he, mushrooms and little skulls on him. That symbol means he pierces armor. So it's not armor penetrating, he, it's armor negating. He ignores my armor. So don't think, oh, okay, you can easily win by having just enough attack and then stack shield, nah. Because their enemies ignore that. They, their enemies that specifically counter that build. Or you can just stack hit points, nah, because their enemies have regular attack and you can block the shield. Right? There's a lot of rock, paper, scissors vibes at the game here. Or enemies that always attack first. Normally you attack first, but not always. Because there are enemies that will attack first instead. But normally you do. Normally Kitty goes first. So, this is important to note. Every other enemy killed, he gets plus two attack. So kill this guy first if you're going to kill him. I actually want to blow him up a little bit. And then throw the darts at him so he can't hit me. Because remember, items always act first, right? The item I'm like throwing out like a tanta. I'm throwing out like a... Pulling like a hidden dagger behind my back and throwing it at him. He didn't expect it, right? He wasn't ready for combat, right? Because otherwise I'm closing to melee. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I, okay, another one of these guys. Ah, uh, so that was not the good move, but I will drink this potion over here. Another one. If I had the other little perk, I could throw this potion uh, on him as poison and then hurt him. Take this. Remember, every other enemy killed, he gets stronger. Drink the potion, kill it, I go first. Yeah, so, ooh, here we go, bless. I want more to attack, so I can kill him faster. See that, he's punching right through my armor. Two is always going through, and then I have two armor, so two of that's going through as well. I can kill you relatively safely. Ooh, an altar upgrade. So these work is like I can I can just pick up and take the altar with me, which is fun. Ooh, a shop. Or I can stuff an item in it and go evasion rate two does not excite me. Make it better. And I spend two of my my rune stones, and now it's four, four percent evasion. That's not bad. I mean. 
If I get that ten percent, that means any attack, it's not that predictable. And, and the lack of predictability, because the attacks are very deterministic, right? Attack always opposes defense. There's no D20 roll here, and there's no 2D6 or whatever for damage. No, it's just, it's always this. But these add a bit of dice game to it. Makes it a bit unpredictable. Mm, what do I want to do now? Do I want to leave? Yeah, all these cards are one, so there's no point. I'm not getting XP for these guys, remember. Don't fight if you don't have to. Kitty's wise. Kitty's a rogue. Um, let's hit a shop. We have 79 coin. Lock chest, so the shops have lock chests. Ooh, a random mushroom. Yum! No any random mushrooms you find. They might kill you. But kitty knows. Kitty knows our mushrooms. Ooh, max up points. The ring of heart. Ooh! Ring of heart. Kitty. The ace of hearts. Uh, increases max HP for every duplicate relic. Yeah, so you can have duplicates. That's pretty good if I get, get like a duplo deck. Nah, I'll go for the ring. I need the guarantee. And this guy popped up. They don't remember, they don't buff. And like he could be hidden in the deck here, but he's not out on the field. I think like no Magic the Gathering, right? You can have whatever monster you want in your deck, but unless they're they're summoned and on the field, they don't do their thing, right? So this guy's boosting everybody else, he's gotta go. Cut him down. Candlestick monster, alright, I'll spend the 30 to open the chest. Piggy bank, so I can re-roll these. At this point I might want to, or re-roll. Yeah. Another amulet that will stack. Ooh, magic mushroom. Defense and luck. Restores ten percent health when you discard it. Ooh, when you enter a new stage, heal five. Yeah, that's what I want. The, the berries. Magic berries. Kill you three. Uh, see, I boost, boosted him. See, I forgot. See, look at how hard he's hitting now. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to avoid him. I'm not going to avoid these guys. I have to remember that. Don't kill. Do not kill. Like, they're boomerang at him. Eat a mushroom. Hmm. So that nasty bloat fly there. He's punching through my armor. I don't have many hit points. I'll kill you because I see something behind you. Hit point. Uh, a bunch of potions, yeah. The fork. When you attack an injured enemy, increase attack by two. <sighs> Fine, I have room for it. What's under you? We're at the altar? Yeah. Let's see if the, the meaningful choices I'm making. I'm not just clicking here. If you just click, you will die. Don't do that. Oh, this guy. He, he actually does stuff. Yeah, he's, he's a bit more proactive, right? Because he's blind, right? Or he's, he's a boar, he doesn't see so well. Bears, boars are horrible. They're horribly nearsighted, but they have a good sense of smell, right? That's why they use pigs to hunt for truffles. So he senses my presence. He's going to attack in three rounds. So he will attack me, actually. Most of these guys are pretty passive, right? Because they're 2D beings, right? They can't perceive the realities I walk through, right? Because I'm three-dimensional. I'm just presented. That's like a mirror, right? <laughs> I'm looking into this reality. Odd-eyed kitty. I want the blessing, but what blessing do I want? Like, shield's not good here because they're punching right through my shield, right? Arm negating attack. It would help for his you, so I'll take some more shield. See, now they're doing two. I can throw a boomerang at him. Bonk him. See, it didn't take his turn. And I can upgrade my attack even more. And then that's six. Oh, these guys. These things are nasty. When it dies, it drops a slime bomb in my inventory. And it'll explode later. For like, eight damage. It's kind of nasty. It's very nasty, in fact. A big fight. Do we want the big fight? I'll throw a boomerang at you. If I kill them with that, I get the boomerang back. But mm. Another potion. I can avoid the big fight. Go for an altar. I want to know what's behind you. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. See. My curiosity. Curious kitty. See, it was, that was a poor choice. I got nothing out of it. It's a gamble. I'll avoid that big fight because I, I know what it is. It's nasty. A throwing knife and half healing. He's gonna I'll throw the knife at him. I perceived it. Ah, one of these critters. So his presence here, and they, all these buffs little stack, right? So I could have like three of these guys cut my defense by one. So while he's here, my defense is cut by one. While he's on the field. It's a problem. I want more attack. No more healing, actually, more hit points. Get rid of him. What's under you, Blowfly? An upgrade, more power. Aha, more attack. What's under you, potion? I don't have enough money. Mm, I have the healing. I can do it. Yeah. What's under? The exit of the forest. Yeah, I've left the first zone. I just cleared level one. And they'll give you like a nice potion. Ooh, nice. Twenty percent crit rate effect lost after switching stage. It's fine because it doesn't. Six, half of six, half of fourteen is seven, so it's better than this. Not place like that. Three more coins. 
that's enough for opening a chest, right? Everything counts in large amounts. So level two, it's starting, the game's getting very serious now. Tougher monsters. I can drop a bomb. Uh, kill that thing. Another healing potion. See, this guy hits pretty hard. Okay, you head to resources. I'm, gonna... I'm keeping this bomb just in case. Yeah, okay. Death rattle on death increases all on enemy attack by two. So this is something we want to kill last or not kill at all, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna boost this guy. Oh, great. More no, I can't afford it. I will heal and take it with me. Hm. What's under you? A blessing! Good thing I checked. I need more defense. And 30 bucks, yeah, there we go. No point to kill you, though. And I want this because I need two to upgrade this ring here. See, upgrade requires two runestones. Thou only has one. Thou only has one, right? Ooh, yeah. See, if you, you see the tactics in the game. Crit, the crit is nice. It's unpredictable, but it is nice. Yeah. That's 20% crit for the mushroom. Yeah, that is good. Mm. I have a potion there. He's gonna do stuff. Whatever. I, the... I was hoping he just had one too many hit points. This guy, every time he hits me, he's gonna take a dollar from me. Take a, take a coin. But he's in my way. I don't get what he has. 30 bucks. He had some money on him. Money in him, in fact. Any more hit points, please? Improve my ruby ring? What's under you, Raven? There's one thing under it. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah, that's a good choice. And nothing else? Shop, I get the money. Mm, now we're getting particularly nasty monsters. Yeah, a bloat worm or whatever. A disease worm. Yeah, a giant worm that causes a bleed on me. And he pierces armor, and he's tanky as yeah. Something to avoid. Nasty rat, too. I'll hang on to the knife, maybe to deal with him. The throwing knife over there. This thing... I don't need to do it. Use it on you. I can bail if I need to. Crit. 30 I can afford. Luck. Luck. Kill enemies will drop... Ooh! Ooh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just crit. Kill enemies. Killed enemies. So it's a translation thing. We'll drop gold equal to this value. Ooh. But I, I'm, a, I'm a kitty. I take the cheese to lure the rats. Increases two max health every time a stage passes. Vanishing. So it's going to give me four life. Max. That's nice. What's under you, Ratty? This dude. He only ever takes five. And he's kind of a pain to deal with. Because he punches through your shield. Hmm. One thing under you, two under you, three under you. It's like, I don't have to kill this thing, right? I can just move it. Uh, the rats, probably. That thing was the choice. Yeah, there we go. What's under you? Another one of you bastards. All right, time to go. <laughs> Your discretion's a better part of valor, right? Remember, the I'm not getting XP for killing monsters. I'm getting it for finding stuff, getting goodies. And you'll note, it only passes when I attack him, physically attack. I can use an item or whatever, it's not going to pass. And he got attack off. Good for you. You know, healing. Uh, who would I kill faster? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. I just want the gun underneath him, right? Three rune stones, there we go. Two rune stones. Oh yeah, we got shop and a rat. Do I fight the rat to see what's under him? No. Well, I have a bit of healing. No, he's got a lot of armor. Well, let's just go to a shop. The game's all about making those sort of tactical choices. It's not just a fight in front of you. It's this thing. This is what can kill you very easily. He always acts first. Oh, and he's buffed. 
Probably plus three every other monster near him. So be super careful about if you're going to fight him, revealing other cards. Because he gets stronger every other critter on the field. I would prefer not to fight him at all. See, he just got stronger. Let's kill you. Oh, see, if I click on him, I'm dead. <laughs> Don't do that. Ah, oh, there's more of them. And a worm. Oh, God. Okay, you see? It can quickly get very difficult. Rats are tough. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> poor luck. Poor luck. Alright, so... That was the poor choice. I need to... Cut through you. I, if I attack him, I die. And there's a bleed on me. Oh! Oh dear god. Oh, I made... Maybe, maybe this is it. No! Maybe. Vanishes after I pass three stages. Increase heal crit rate. Decreases one enemy defense over attack. Ooh, like crushing through their armor. I like it. When your health is lower than eight, increase two attacks. Sure, I got the money. What's under you? The way out? Oh, God. Could have easily died there. So you have to play very carefully. All right. Mushroom. Well, potion, then mushroom. Mm, that's four... You punch three for four as well. What's under you? One. What's under you? Two. Uh, the dog says play with me. Oh, I got an evasion. Nice. Moonstones. So, don't worry about killing him, right? Because I know there's nothing under him. So, it's here or there. I think, statistically... So, the game teaches you very good about odds, too, right? Because I, I don't know the specific amount of... Like how many exits are here? There's gonna be at least one, right? There could be an altar exit, there could be a ruin exit, there could be a shop exit, right? But I know there's at least one. So, of what I've seen, I haven't seen it yet. So it could be there, or it's more likely to be under here. So I'm gonna fight the rat, this rat. Evasion. That evasion is nice. That was not correct. Huh? It was not. It was not. Under you? It was. Haha! -ha! You know, I get it eventually. I clear level two. And the valley. You see how engaging the game is. All right, so now the game is like truly trying to kill you. Now we have monsters who will spawn a swamp. By a swamp, they mean a swamp like a bog beast, like a long dead creeping out of a swamp. It's a, it's a nasty thing that pierces through armor. It's gonna spawn that damn thing. Unless I kill this thing in time. Look at that ten. My defense is kind of low. I prefer not to fight him. There's a wood golem who's just tanky. A knife. And then I got like a swagon over here. I, uh... Oh, lizard man. He's more of a lizard man because we're in the swamp, right? With the valley. Yeah, I should probably kill him. He'll do the least damage to me. I should... I'm going to have to deal with the ghoul swarm. That's fine. It's coming. Yeah, there it is. That's what he calls. He's going to keep doing it. Look at that. And I, that just adds it to the, the pile that I just get to deal with. Alright, what's what's this? Oh no, he's actually... Oh, sh he took, he's standing on top of the dagger, right? This guy, when you kill him, I receive my sixth attack in the next attack round. That's not terrible, but he does a lot of damage too. Oh god. Uh, it's go, time to go pound on the golem. Yeah, another, another ghoul. See how hard he's hitting me? I am crun crunching through his armor quite nicely. Do I have any artifacts I can discard for a heal? Um, yes. Please let me leave now. <laughs> the crit saved me there. Oh god, I just got away. I could have easily died there as well. Found a chest. Yeah, eat the mic. Can't use item cards. Oh no, this guy! I just died. When this guy's around, he doesn't let you use item cards. He interferes with your third dimensional powers, so I can't use my stuff. Oh, I can take the chest with me. I know I can do that. A red amulet increases crit. I'll take the, heal, the health ring. The ruby ring. But I can't use item cards while this, the guy's in the field. I can take it. Ooh, I can open the cards at least. The bomb. This is a nice early artifact you can get. Plus four attack is huge early. But it's 8% chance you hit yourself a 6. So you can easily blow yourself up with that. When health is lower than 8, restore 1 every attack round. That's pretty good for now. This thing. 
You play Diablo 2, he's got an Iron Maiden curse on him. I hit him, I take the exact same damage. So. Yeah, you want to kill him with an item. But this item's not enough to kill anything. Oh, he, he just... I, I Yeah, I can't use the item cards. Oh, that son of a bitch. Uh, this is what I have to do. Pound on this guy. Well, well, this dude summons ghouls to eat my brains. Oh no, I think I just died. Yeah, it happens. Oh, died on stage three. Good luck. I have won those a few times. Now let's see if I unlocked anything. Every zone you clear, you get more purple flame souls, so I can start with two rune stones, start with some gold. I can unlock this relic. Oh, just one short, thanks. I can make my inventory bigger. Ah, oh, I can't unlock the characters. Oh well. More inventory. And I'll start with the rune stone. Two of them. So there we go. So I will mushroom ball's pretty good. Let's try the mushroom potion. So what this means I can throw poison potions. I can use healing potions as healing bombs, pretty much like an alchemist. Which is like Pathfinder. What do I get? What do I get? Healing ring. I'll take the bomb this time. I mentioned it. So look see look at my attack, how fat big it is. I can just one shot them, they can't touch me. But boom! That's that's the disadvantage of that. That's six percent eight percent chance. And it triggered the first time I click it. So now combat's a little more risky. But I, I got a fish. I'm fishing right now. For loot. Cause it's just gonna get harder. As I they offer nothing to me because they're alone. I will visit the altar, because I need more power. And this run will feel very different. Of the different artifacts I took, I'll take another upgrade. So I have the bomb, right? I should focus on either attack, but I don't need the attack because the bomb's already covering me for a while. I need hit points to survive if the bomb blows up on me if I get very unlucky. Because I might. This guy. Remember what he does. Everything else, he gets like super pissed if you hit him. So I want to take him out first. Money! See? I was rewarded. What's under you? under you. An upgrade. So I could upgrade the bomb if I'm mad. I'll just take regular attack, please. Because the bomb goes from 8% chance to 16% chance. I think it goes to 8 damage, too. So I, I've killed myself with it. We don't want to do that. Hmm. Alter. I think another alter. And probably hit points again. Yeah, let's go tanky this time. This dude. He's not gonna... Well, let's see. Another bomb? No, we're not We're not gonna do that. Let's reroll. The vampire fangs. Increase... One pierce damage. I think pierce is armor negating. The, the bloody fangs, the bloody sword. One pierce for every four attack. Yeah, this is good for me. A coupon. <laughs> we roll is a cheaper. They're ten percent. They're like, they cost ten, so it cost me eight. But they go up, and it goes up by ten each time, right? So twenty percent of ten, right? So eight, and then it would cost me I don't know a little bit, a little bit less than that. All the fangs, because that's gonna give me unblockable damage. I can just one tap that guy now. Look at that. That's power. Now I can upgrade. The fangs are one of one. They won't upgrade. See? Relic is max level. Okay. Now, uh, this goes to five, though, so more attack. Ten. And you see sweet dust. Oh, boom. A little on me. It can happen. So don't lose yourself attacking too much, right? Because what we need is the upgrades. Not kill the monsters. The monsters just in the way. All right. A knife. I value the healing more. I'll scrap the knife for three, and... Let's go to an altar. Another altar. I need more hit points. And hit points, as I said. See, that guy's got the bleed. I have a bit of it, too. It's not showing me. I get one pierce for every four. So I'm getting two pierce. I just wish it would show on there, but... I have money. When you enter a new stage, heal five. The bounty hat. When kill, when I make a kill, drop one gold and increase next attack by one. Well, I kill tons of crap anyway. Put on the hat, kitty. <laughs> Let's assume the the hat is the cat is wearing a hat. <laughs> I see it got stronger. A relic. I want that. It's so hard. I love it. Boom. Uh, the the boom's not good. The boom is. I got boomed. Drink that potion, please. Resources. Shop. No, not shop. Altar, maybe. It's under you. Eight, sell. Sell, take the altar with me. Pick it up, take it. 
And we'll do resources. I want the rune stones. Take that guy out first, he's gonna mess with me. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's the risk. Rune thank you. And more damage, please. And another potion, thank you. More rune stones. Kaboom. No need for the boom yet. Boom now. More money. That was completely unnecessary and an unnecessary risk. Because remember, I, that's an 8% chance for me to hit myself for six and losing points. Let's go do a rare one. I'm, I'm pretty powerful right now on stage, what, one? Yeah. So this is what you get. These guys, they... One attack, same enemy will also attack. So if I can one-tap them, they can't attack. That's how you kill these guys. You one-tap them. You need massive attack. I just boomed, though. So I actually want to clear the field of them first before I spread things out. There's another one here. There's the rare chest. Blue gem's really good. Increases one defense per empty space. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six to defense. Yeah, that's one item. Boom. <laughs> and this encourages me to sell this stuff, right? Am I getting gold? Every kill I am for the bounty hat, I love it. More money. So if you can do that fight, do it. And a chest. The cheese. The vine ring is awesome. The poison vine, but be very careful. Eight to hit points. You're like, whoa, I want that. You get one damage per turn, puts a dot on you, and then you upgrade it, 16, then two. I've died to that ring, it's very good, but... I want the hit points, because this will disappear, and I'll take the bomb with me. I'm incredibly strong for just leaving D1. And the reason for that is because I took the boss fight, and I had the power to do it. Alright. Altar Blessing, what do we need now? Hit points wouldn't be bad, because I'm still dealing with the bomb. Luck? I mean, I'm getting lots of money for my bounty hat. It'd be so cute, though, wearing the hat. Uh Make the cat wear the hat. That's just so cute. Maybe the cat should wear the hat. <laughs> it's silly. It would tie into the aesthetic, though. Have, like, a monocle on the damn thing, too. It's holding the item. Just little things, right? It'd be charming. What is it I need? More attack? My attack's pretty nice. Oh, wait, wait. Every four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen is the next big one I should go for. I could just push heavy amounts of attack. Let's just do that. One shot. One shot. One shot. I'll boomerang you. One shot. One shot. No, kill him now. I boomed. It's fine. Because there's no one else. I killed him last because there was no one else for him to buff. Oh, upgrade an item. More attack, please. Thank you. 15 to attack. Yes, thank you. An arrow. I would like to take that. The fairy wand. Every four current health below max health plus one attack. Nah, I don't want to bank on that. And remember, I, oh, I'm benefiting from not imp stuffing my inventory with stuff. But every new stage, healing five is worth it. That does cost me armor, but it's worth it. 15 damage for free. The bomb was probably better, but I got I got money. Let's hit the shop. Hmm. Uh, this guy. Okay, so on death increases all enemy attack. Remember, enemies on the field though. He's not on the field. Doesn't count. Okay, I can almost two tap him. Okay, high attack power is very good. When you attack an injured enemy, well, I kill him once, so I mean. Evasion? Do we start evasion? Let's start off stacking evasion. What's under you? Altar. What's under you? A potion! He's gonna buff this guy if I do it, so... A chest. Luck. Let's go dagger. Yeah, just eat my armor up, but... The fork. When you attack an injured enemy, it, eh, I don't care about that. Is there anything under him? No, I'll just take the potion for gold and hit and alter, yeah. I think focusing more on attack, some more attack. You can't give me a bomb, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> it just feels so good. 
to just disintegrate them. <laughs> uh, if I max that, I have... I can max this knife, too. What's under you? Something I don't have to deal with. A potion and alter more attack. 18. Let's take the rare chest. Let's do it. My attack is disgustingly high, so... I don't know what it is. I'm gonna eliminate the threatening enemies, the throwing knife. Oh, it's you. It's the worm. He attacks immediately upon being unveiled. That's his thing. But I can just cut him down, so it's fine. And he does it. That was it. He had that. A throwing knife bag. Creates a random throwing knife card for six enemies killed by crafting their bones into knives. I like it. Puppet. Restores one health per attack round. Oh my god. I'm like... I was like voodoo. I'm draining their life. I love it. And the crushing mace. Now, they're not surviving more than one hit from me, so the blood. That's really good, the healing. Bye. Ah! Did I evade? Nice. Drink a potion? What's under you? I'll throw the knife at you and then just one-shot you. The worm. I evaded him. Oh, that's so good. I have no point to kill you. A shop? I have 200 gold. Why not? So, if you're... If you can handle it, definitely do the rooms. I can almost one-tap him, but remember, you can't really one-tap this guy because he always acts first. I gotta blow him down. One fight, firstly, causes damage to the translations. <laughs> so he's a big threat. I got boomed. It's fine. I can arrow you. 20 bucks. When health is lower than 8. No, it shouldn't won't be anywhere near that. Lucky amulet. Gain 40 cards, 40 coins when you discard this. I already have a two roll. The gunpowder bomb card. To hit harder. Ring. Healing ring. I won't. It's under you. Rat. The healing is very nice. I do not want to deal with that guy at all. I will deal with you. Boom. Yeah, I got boomed. Resources. Because I don't want to upgrade my relics. It's almost at the point where I want to... Well, this is still giving me one. But once I fill that up, it's not going to be giving me anything. I can just one-tap that guy. I <laughs> one-tap the chest, too. I can leave the ruins right now. But I don't want to. More runestones. If I had left, I would have gotten that. What's under you, big guy? More runestones! I took his treasure. <laughs> and then I leave. <laughs> That's just so funny. He can't even perceive it. Unless I'm directly in line of sight and attack him. He don't know. He had no idea what's going on. A better potion, and I enter the valley. The valley where the game... The valley is where the game stops screwing around and decides to absolutely destroy you. Another healing ring. In which case, this is giving me nothing. See, didn't go anywhere. Minus six next attack round. Ooh. Ooh. Blessing. Uh, we kind of like I'm not one tapping anymore. I kind of need some defense now because I lost a lot of it. A more attack, I mean, would probably be wise as well. Oh, I can upgrade the puppet. Do that. 2 HP per round. Oh my god. That's really good. So now, look at that. I can almost ignore a few hits coming in. What's under you? Nothing's under you. What's under you, Golem? The way out. You. Mm, I have enough to just kill him. What's under you? That guy. He's gotta go. Boom. Oh, it was a waste. See, I didn't need, didn't need to do that. Alter or resource? I'll do alter. See, it's easy to get too click heavy. This guy would be a big problem for me. This guy, of course, is what I have to eliminate. It's damage equal to my attack, and he doesn't get attack. Another healing ring? Yeah. 
another blessing and let's start getting some defense a little bit maybe it's kind of late to stack it but decrease the damage I take right because I have to deal with that thing minus six attacks next round oh that oh look oh it does hit me oh I don't like that or right, you're the one to kill it's under here boomerang Upgrade altar? Nice. I can get one more to attack. I can get more healing and more evasion. Oh, I can make the healing even better, too. Hmm. Put that there. Get some more evasion going. I think... It only took six. Not bad. See, this is where you can really get screwed. I should leave now. Yeah. Healing. Need that. See how it didn't take a turn there? This one immediately I have to deal with, though. Hmm. Summoning. Yeah, they do that. I know what's under there, though. An upgrade, stack that. So now I got 6% evasion. What's under you? He was there before, I don't think he was summoned. And, yeah, let's get out of here. More healing, that's good. Oh, this guy. So he heals, he's like a death druid. One fight, he'll, the odd translation, he goes first, he has first strike. His first strike evades, negates mine, and, he, and then he takes it anyway. So, I mean, I think he only heals himself, though, so I can just ignore him. This guy, though, I cannot ignore. A boomerang? Uh, maybe I'll use it. This guy, use it on him. Chest. Hmm. What should I... It's almost at the point I can probably get rid of the bomb. I could. Because I've been boosting that. That's quite nice. Do I need the money anymore? When kill, drop one gold, and increase the next attack by one. That is pretty good. Just the next immediate attack, I assume, but still... I mean, I need all the attack I can get. That's giving me five. That's giving me... I don't need the mace. Luck. That is nice. I, I, don't, I never even do this. I never use the potions that way. I haven't done this turn. This, this whole fight. This whole run. I, yeah, I just need to kill this guy. I can leave. What's another golem? Another golem. A shop. Yeah, I want to kill him because I want to know what's under a blessing. More attack. And what's under you? An upgrade. I can upgrade another mushroom. I can upgrade the dagger. Although healing, because I have regen, I should boost my healing more. That's what I should be doing. Uh, no, resource, resource, so I can my, boost my relics, right? So you got to keep track of what you're doing here, right? that guy down a damage equal to my attack I could almost one I can almost kill that guy I wonder what he does yeah well he's dead that's what he does this guy so these guys can stack and really chew up your defense I see boom boom almost killed me there the exits seem to be the last thing on the bottom they seem to be on the bottom so that's an important thing to note the exits they're not always, but they seem... Ooh, ew, look at that. Look how much damage they do, right? Because his six is going through. And the five is going through, too. So he's just a nasty thing. Am I taking nothing from you? Yeah. I should just bail. I should get out of here. Try not to fight the ghouls. A boomerang and an item. I don't really need the item. Rhino horn, when your attack is lower than defense, it is not. 
thought I'd never take that. Restore two health when you use an item. I don't use that many items. Spike when you're hit by... I've used this before. When hit by an enemy attack, returns two. It's just it doesn't factor into your attack, so it makes it hard to plan. I don't really want any of this. Increases crit rate. Critical spell wrong there. Increases evasion rate per luck. That's not bad. I actually don't want any of this. Relic inventory full. Oh, oh, I can just... Okay, it, no, it's a card, and I could sell the card. I see. I guess I don't need the gold anymore, so I'll take the relic. Oh. Now I have to. Oh, this guy's here now. Of course he is. Uh, this guy's presence is gonna... Take that, then use the card to turn it. Oh, and <laughs> to not make it a card anymore. To transmogify it into a an artifact. I can leave. What's under you? More, more death. I feel pretty strong. Let's see. Yay! <laughs> I just did it. Twenty-one rooms, one hundred and five enemies killed, and fifty-two souls gained. Yay! I did it. I cleared the demo on screen. Nice. So it's a nice little turn-based tactics RPG card game. Not as much of a deck builder as you can see, but it's an interesting card game where the whole game is cards. Anyway, I think it was worth showing. This is Straight Path, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.